last episode we did a we did we did a pretty good cycle. We managed to get the golden bow. We found Nivia or whatever she's called, the other woman that could hear voices. Uh, and now that's our quest line complete. Now what we need to do is we need to do the quest of Sinner to try and find out who's harassing Virgil. I don't know where this is going to get us, but it could lead us to the cult. And we know we need to find someone from the cult. So everything's tied in and it, it's very interesting. So come on then. But I don't need this conversation. Right. So there's three guys I need to speak to because the the woman that we saved from the archer and collapse of the building said that there's she saw late at night a glint of someone's armor and there's only three people with armor in this city. So that's an interview and all. What is it, citizen? Where were you last night? Oh, so what's just... No, no. Yeah. Are you the one threatening Virgil? What? Absolutely not. I know someone's been threatening him, and I'm not happy about it. But I can assure you, it isn't me. Any proof? You know nothing. Ah, so it might be him. You know nothing. That's not the words of someone who's innocent. Alright. But maybe it is. Right, let's see. I don't like this guy. This guy's a cock. Oh, we've had words with him in the past. I think he might be threatening him, so he votes in the election. Maliolus isn't receiving visitors at the moment, it being election day. Are you the one threatening Verge? Do I seem like anonymous threats of my style? You got a point there. I know it was you. You don't know Sturkus. Fair enough. Whatever. Not really going to, <laughs> it's not really going to plan this, is it? Why is there multiple? people to speak to. Oh, I thought she said there was only three guys with armor. Hmm. Mm. Name's Rufius. Let her watch your step. Rufius. Rufio, Rufio, Rufio. If anyone can guess what that's off, I'll give you a fucking chocolate cookie. I won't, you'll never get it. No idea what you're talking about. Yeah? Prove it. Hmm. What are you gonna vote for? Not sure I trust Sentius. Couldn't even protect his daughter in a city without sin. How's he going to protect us? What can I do to change it? No. The funny thing is everyone we've spoken to Whatever. Everyone we've spoken to says we can't change their views. Right, I want to go over to these map markers. Not that I know why these are here. The slums, apparently. Oh, we've never been here before. I've seen the path downwards, but I never took it. Oh, this is the stuff I've been in here. It's actually one of the first places I went. So why does it want me to be in here? Dice tower. Designed to stop people from cheating when rolling dice. Aha. Looks like Demetrius was carrying his shield with him when he arrived in the city. He's only got gold. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his three folds. Horatius. Only got gold. Would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. 
No. They follow their traits. His shields wooden. Imitating their previous lives, but they are. Legion ignorant. Banner. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Oh, that's the, the tavern woman I need to speak to. Many shall suffer for the sins of one. At the moment it could be the guy it could be the guy over there because he's got a metallic shield. What the hell? Is this guy collecting fucking golden statues? This is your final warning sinner, it's Rufius. You bastard. <laughs> this guy's got a stone carving of a whopper cock. A phallic charm thought by the Romans to have divine protective properties. Made, I bet you Rufius is like one of them closet gays that like picks on other gays but all he wants to do is stick this stone carving up his own ass. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. Right. Okay, then we'll go and sort him out. Rufius, you lying little prick. I don't actually know where I am. Oh yeah, I do. It is me. No idea what you're talking about. I've seen the letter. Yes, so what? What are you going to do about it? I want to ask you to stop it. And why should I? The one true God says that for man to lie with another man is an abomination. His presence here is a... So he's a Christian. This guy's a Christian, so what are you even doing here? If that's true, why hasn't the golden rule been broken already? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe God hasn't noticed yet. Your God is blind. But when he does, we're going to have a problem. And that's up to God to decide, not you, innit? The gods of Rome don't care about homosexuality, so why would they care about Virgil? There is only one true God. And he laid waste to Sodom and Gomorrah. Because of exactly this kind of thing. Who was it that said, do unto others as you would have them do unto you? I am doing that. If I was about to get everyone else killed, I would want someone to stop me. Yeah, how do you th think the magistrate would react if he knew you were a cultist? I don't like where this is going. Good, you better not. Leave Virgil alone, or I'll out you to everyone. I have no idea what you're talking about. And unless you want your jaw broken, I think it's best if you don't ever talk to me again. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go. And, I'm gonna go and. Uh... Oh, so wait there. That's not finished with him. I have nothing. To... Right, where's the magistrate? I'm gonna ship this prick. I've never been up here. Oh yeah, I've been in there. That's where I was with all those um, golden monstrosities. Right, it's it's that house. I need to get that house there. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I want to speak to this guy first. I want to let him know who it is. A new face.
Hmm. Nice to talk to. I can't even tell him. Ave. How come you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? Because I'm a beast. Oh, I'm hit with an invisible wall. Keep an eye out for Centilla, would you? We're gonna be a dirty little grass. We're finally alone. I assume. I've had this conversation before. Wait, if I understand correctly. Someone is about to break the golden rule, forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here. I must have entrusted you with figuring out who. Yes, yes, yes. Right? I broke it. You broke it. Why in Pluto's name did you <laughs> do that? For a laugh. I was trying to save someone's life. But it seems you failed. Look, it's unfortunate, but all that matters now is that you make use of it now. I, I will. assume you sought me out again for a reason. Yes. Right. About my investigation. Ask them. Good. Of course. What is it? If you've stopped one person from breaking it and you're still here, then there must be someone else about to break it still. Allow me to explain. When I discovered the ritual to Proserpina, the instructions came with a warning about paradoxes. The crux of it is this. If you do anything to change the course of history in such a way that your very being here is impossible, you will have created a paradox. To illustrate, when the golden rule is broken, I will open the doorway that will bring you here to prevent it from being broken. If you manage to succeed in saving our lives, then I will have no reason to open the door. I know how that works. So th right, um... Thank you. We can't shot that guy, and that guy's not... Fucking give us this money. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Help me! Right, let's get as much as we can and then get back to the portal. I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost, and I don't know where to go. I'll what follow this guy. It was me! It was me, I'm a thief and I can't even help it. I cannot help that I steal everything. Right, let's get the fuck out of the dodge. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to have to have another conversation with Rufius and let's not say that we're going to turn him in. Are there any statues in here? Oh. Shit, there is. Oh my days, I'm going to die, 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 die. Okay, I think I pushed too hard in that conversation with him, we'll have another word with him and let's just say like, whatever. Hmm. Tap X for a guide towards the objective marker. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sick of this guy's shit. Salutations. 
Uh... Oh, he's all the way down here. Right, how do we persuade this guy? Name's Wolfie. No idea. Right, I've yes. found the note. Stop yeah. it. Why hasn't it been broken? Right. Seems to me your agitation is a bigger threat than Virgil's personal affairs. Well, I wouldn't get so angry if he wasn't so... You know. Mate, didn't you have a giant penis in your room? That's quite an impressive bow you have there. He just seems like a normal guy, keeping to himself. What's your problem? He makes me... Yeah, this guy does want to slide one in. Are you uncomfortable with your feelings towards him? I don't like where you're going with this. You'd better take that back before I make you. It must be difficult to be torn between your faith and your desire. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> and unless you want your jaw broken, I think it's best if you don't ever talk to me again. I bet you the only way this guy is going to break my jaw is because he wants to slip his cock in my mouth. I, I know, I know what you're doing. I have nothing to say. Ah, oh, fuck it. You imbecile! The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Whoopsie! I did not mean to do that. Yes, I did. <laughs> Got flashlight out, mate. Where am I going? Why <laughs> have I got this flashlight out? Right, what I think we have to do is... I think we have to... Accuse this guy on both fronts. We need to make him question his feelings for other men. And we also need to question, make him question his religion. But then take them back once we've accused it. So we're not threatening, coming across as threatening ourselves. That's how I think we're going to solve this. Right, he's a normal guy. Comfortable feelings. I take it back. Smart. Now I have nothing to say. Hmm. Okay, so no matter what you do. No matter what you do, you can't do anything. Why are we there? Don't you just love springtime? Don't see anything, don't hurt anyone, don't. Ah, what's... What's in here? Get out of the way then. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold graying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. Ah, oh, I didn't see that. Follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Oh, what does it say on the back? 
nothing. Hmm. Right, I don't know what to do. Note from Kabash. Summary, a dreamy dream diary from Kabash in which he describes his recurring dreams about a stranger named Curti. Curti keyboard. You just moved, you lion. I seen you move. Right, let's have a w word with this bar lady. I love your clothes. So exotic. Why, thank you, my dear. Ah, oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. And uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was this guy's a bitch. Intrigued. Remember, she's the one that blackmailed the girl. Dangerous about you, like a prowling manticore. And you're as charming as you are, beautiful. Ugh, coming on a bit strong, don't you think? <laughs> you came on to me. I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So. What brings you to my tavern? Well... Interesting gossip? Certainly. For ten dinari. Done. Have you met Livia? She used to do my hair until one day she just... snapped. This place has that effect on people. Now she just stands around caked in filth muttering nonsense to herself. It's a real shame. Now I have to do my own hair. I can tell it's a mess. Livia. He has another ten. I hear that if Maliolus is elected, he's going to throw a small festival to celebrate with entertainment and everything. Can't wait to find out what it is. There used to be a midwife here, Naivia, but this place drove her. Fortunately for us, Centilla. The magistrate's youngest daughter went missing a few weeks ago. Yeah, How we've heard we this. To... Whatever you. Ugh, let it go. Wait, fuck this All bitch. Right. The many shall suffer bitch. for the sins of the one. Aurelia's chest. Ah, why, thank you. Two thousand and a diary. Aurelia boasts about scamming Lulia and Ulpus and hopes Malleus wins the election so she can pay him a tribute in exchange for Sentius's villa. Now I've got that, thank you very much. That's going to help us incriminate her, vile. Yeah. This was very successful. Lads, I think I know how to create a paradox. Lads, I know how to create a paradox. I'm just gonna kill the I'm just gonna kill the um the guy. If I just kill Centilius I he I won't be able to a portal won't be able to be opened and then we'll win. Hmm, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Right, here we go. Lulia's dying, but Lucaria can't help her without a Sylphium. I need you to stop Fabia entering the empty shrine and tell the new arrival he'll find out, find what he's looking for in there. Oh, so you can get him to do all the work. All right, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. Awesome. Lilia's dying, but Lucaria can't help her without the Sylphium. 
take some of it and go quickly. I don't need to do that yet. That's it, go as fast as you can. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Ah, so you can use this guy to do your bidding. This is so good. Now the reason I've done that is because we'll save them. I'm not going to give him the the poison cure because I need to find a way up top first. Right now we're there. So. I can't, I don't know how to do that. Find out why Livia is acting strangely. Come on then, we'll go and see Livia. Who is Livia? Livia is the dying girl, isn't it? What are you doing in here? She needs the resin. Oh, I have to give her it. What? Quick, you leave. But in that's a. Is this Livia? Oh no, this is Lulia. So who the fuck's Livia? Right, she's awake. Can't really do anything with her. All right, never mind. Hmm. A golden bow, just like Apollo and Diana's. Ah, it's very similar. Where's the menu again? I don't know where Livia is. I didn't even know who Livia is. Greetings and salutations. Greetings. That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. Ah. But after some reflection, I... Anything to do? No. Okay. I... Right, so... Awesome. How me again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and it worked. That's awesome. Just a little guess. Uh, uh you're, you're Sisyphus. Yeah, that's the one. Old King Sisyphus. Like Sisyphus, how so? Sisyphus was a Greek king a long time ago. For daring to think he could outsmart the gods, he was given a terrible punishment. He was forced to push a great boulder up to the top of a hill. Only, just as it reached the top, it would roll all the way back down to the bottom, forcing him to start over and over and over again for all eternity. Just like you. Actually, now that I think about it, there are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people. Tantalus was made to grasp at fruit on a tree he could never... Yes, oh, yes, yes. So... Cheers, mate. Anytime, friend. Now, I'm going to keep your secret. Although, oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. I know when I'm not wanted. May fortune smile on you, friend. Oh, nice one, mate. Okay, so just tell him you're busy. Now, what we can do is... We can go and get a free bow. Not that I know why I might need it, but I'll take it. That's all we need. Oh, so, inventory. Key to the sh chest in the Shrine of Apollo. Where's the Shrine of Apollo? Oh, look where we are! It's where that we the game started. Beautiful.
Nothing here. Okay. Right, well, I'm... I'm lost for leads at the minute. I don't know where the Shrine of Apollo is. Oh, wait there. Was the sh Look, there's a doorway back here. Aha! Do you feel had an orgy with four girls here and disappointed all of them equally? <laughs> a sponge stick. Toilet lift brushes, aren't they? Either that or a belt or dildo, stick it up your ass. Okay. I am I'm because I don't know what to do now. I've gotta get up top of here. That's my plan. Aha two hundred and forty six gold. So he's still... We've got plenty of time before he decides to jump. By the looks of things. Oh, well, this, should, this is easy to get to him, isn't it? Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? That's lovely. I really need to talk to Ulbius. All right. Well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Grab him. Ulbius, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life? Working for a man who treats me like an animal. I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Ulpius. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Ulpius. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. Oh, I'm, I'm an excellent negotiator. All right, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And please, choose your words carefully. Trust me, I'm a professional. Can we talk? Let me guess. You're going to lecture me on how suicide is a crime against the Empire. Not at all. I was just going to ask you what's wrong. I screwed up my life. That's what's wrong. I borrowed money and when I couldn't pay it back, I wound up in debt bondage. I'll be stuck slaving away for that Culus Cumulatis Maliolus for the rest of my life. I am out. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Ulpius, no! Okay. Ask Ulpius how Centilla would feel about his death. I... I can't believe he went through with it. I, oh Lord, that poor lamb. Poor little lamb to the slaughter. If suicide didn't break the golden rule, rule, what does that mean? Well, I suppose it means suicide isn't a sin under the golden rule. Which we've already figured out. So I guess that means whichever god is responsible for it, it isn't mine. I'll have to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. Ah, he's fucked him, like. I 
think we should go down and see him. Whispers jump. Shut up. They want me to jump. Should we do it? I'm going to follow him. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. I am delighted and deeply honoured to have been elected your majesty. Lead resolved the locked villa. Oh, is this... And now... <coughs> Did you just leap into my villa from the back of feet above? That was Quinticus. either extremely reckless or impressively clever. This is the cultist. Well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? Ah, so you're Quinticus. What? Meet Malleus. Quinticus is Malleus. Oh shit. It's the same guy. So he's a Christian. Yes, I know who you are. My name is Marcus Maliolus Gurgis. You seem to have confused me with someone else. I don't think I have. You have one green eye and one blue eye, just like the description in this execution order from Emperor Nero. You you mean my heterochromia? I am guilty of nothing more than having different coloured eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Alexander the Great had it too, as it happened. Oh, well, I guess I'll go and ask him, will I? I like to He's think fucking dead, you prick. The way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. Apparently, Criticus also suffers from delusion of grandeur. <laughs> well... I am not suffering from any delusions, as today's election will firmly establish. Okay, my mistake, never mind. That's quite all right. We all make mistakes. Do you know we're out of here? I'm afraid not. We're stuck down here together, for better or worse. We're all going to have to make the best of it. Right, what's well, just... I don't care about the story, actually. Withdraw from the election. Uh, are you insane? You barge into my villa uninvited and then make outrageous demands? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? I'm going to kill you if you don't. You fool. <laughs> the many shall suffer oh, shit, for the sins of the one. Oh, also even threatening people. Even threatening people um, causes you to do that. Well, see what we can steal while we're here. Note from Julia or Ulia, a suicide note pre presumably directed at Malleus. Julia to her captors Malleus and Claudia curse you to the depths. By the time you read this, I'll already be dead because death is preferable to another day in death bondage to you. May vultures peck out your livers in Tartarus for all eternity. Opius laments his lost love. May God watch over you. Please know that Jay held on as long as Jay could, but without you, my life is meaningless. Jay. Oh, Jay is not Jay, it's I. I only hope we can meet. In Gan Eden with a reading mode. Oh, that's better. We meet again in Gan Eden. Man, I'm getting shot in the ass. Doors locked. That's a fucking nightmare. Dickhead. I'm loading this because uh, I, I, there's no point in me setting it at the minute. Um, I, I, 
I'm not going to threaten that guy because for some reason threatening to kill someone triggers the thing. So at least we know, we'll know not to make that mistake in the future. Hmm. Okay. I think I have to jump off that thing now. Again. Assassin's Creed it. Yeah, I, I, when I said I, when I first started this playthrough, I said I can't really remember any games that I've dealt with the um, the Groundhog Day theme. But actually, the best Groundhog Day game you'll ever play in your life is The Outer Wilds. Phenomenal, truly is a masterpiece. This game is quite good. I, I like it. I do. I'm enjoying it. Right, let's go. Right, we'll quickly get this information off this guy again. Talk to me. The game's froze. Right, and um, Quinticus, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. That withdraw never what? mind. I trust through Right, so we're in the same place we were. Now, we can freely explore this place and figure out... I need to get a key. I need to find a key to escape this place. Yeah, we read that note. Suicide note. Will Pierce. Now, what else may we find? Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. Magistrate. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> Who the fuck's crying? Leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. And uh, yes, uh, no more shall you walk on. Um, uh, walk on. Uh, well, uh, eggshell, eggshells. Yes. Can I ask him about who's crying? You. Are You mean the children's fable exploited by Sentius to scare us all into doing what he wants? Wait, don't tell me you've fallen victim to that monstrous lie. So he doesn't actually believe the golden rule. Artemis, yeah, what makes you sure that's not real? The person making a claim bears the onus of proving that claim. Can you do that? Can you prove the golden rule? Very is easily. Real? Definitely real. Nonsense. There's no way you can prove that. If it was real and you'd seen someone break it, then you'd be dead already. What would it take to prove to you it's real? Books or notes? Surely you're not one of those people who believes everything you read. As if a lie could be transformed into the truth by the simple act of writing it down. Even if I can't prove it, if I'm right, the next second it will avert disaster. If I'm wrong, the next second it will make the city a better place. Isn't that a good thing? I disagree. I'll be guided by what is best for the city's people, and that means giving them the freedom to do as they wish. Foolish. Foolish child. True, but that is simply because you are mistaken. Right, so this guy can't be I convinced. I trust you through the door this time. There's a key just beside it. Ah. Through the door this time. There's a key just beside it. Which door? Still here. Where's the fucking door? You are... I trust you can see yourself out through the door this time. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Good. Right, now we can get in and out of this villa anytime we want. Now the question is, does this key also work upstairs? Oh, it does. Who art thou, fair maiden? I'm not supposed to be in here. Claudia? Can we talk? Talk? What business could you possibly have with me? I've heard you're a fucking bitch. Yeah, she's also complicit in the um, exploitation of the, the slaves that Malleus does. Why are you locked in the room? My marital affairs are no concern of yours. Thank you very much. How would you like some help in getting back at Malleus? Mm, an intriguing proposition. Go on. Yeah. I don't think he is who he says he is. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes make you look. What makes you say that? Just a hunch. I was hoping we could figure out his true identity together. You know, I may have the very thing you're looking for. Yes. Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he wrote me a love letter. Only, he used the wrong name. What's now, wrong with your mouth? Addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, the name he got wrong was his own. I confronted him about it, and he stammered through some incoherent response. I let it go, eventually, and yet... Questions have lingered in the back of my mind ever since. But... Wait a minute. Why exactly are you helping me? Because I want sex. I just hate to see such a beautiful woman treated so poorly. She's going to fuck me off here, but I need to see it. Oh, aren't you charming? I'm quite sure my husband would seethe with impotent rage if he overheard you say that. Yes. I love it. It seems our interests are aligned. Excellent. I imagine knowing his true identity will give me the leverage I need to manage him appropriately. But first, I need you to do something for me. Mash your back doors in, no problem. I want you to bring me some wine. wine. Just one small urn should do it. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know this must be hard for you to wrap your sweet little pleb head around. Pleb head. So what do you need me to spell out? Plebeian. Why do you want wine? Let me tell you something about Maliolus. He talks a lot about freedom, but what he doesn't tell you is that he means freedom for men. After all I've done for him, counselling him through his entire election campaign, and he had the audacity to lock me in here. He said it was for my own good, and that my drinking was unbecoming of a lady, let alone the wife of a magistrate. I'll show him unbecoming. Good. Tonight, at his victory party, I'm going to get good and merry, and if he tries to discipline me again, I'll threaten to expose his true identity in front Brilliant. of everyone. I am so looking forward to it. Nice. Right, that's all I need. So you'll help me? Guaranteed. Excellent. Now, you'll need to pay a visit to that strumpet Aurelia in her tavern. I expect you'll have to flatter her a bit. If that doesn't work, you might be able to get some advice from Yulia who's probably still at the Shrine of Apollo. Good. Heard they used to be close. They both appreciate the poetry of Sappho of Lesbos, if you get my meaning. <laughs> yeah, the Sappho of Lesbos, the, the lesbians, and I'll get right on it. Thank you. Now, I want to go and speak to that girl, Ilya, or whatever she's called. Oh, hello. Oh my God, they've got so much money. Don't need it though, let's... Right, the thing is, though, we've got the keys. We can get back in here anytime we want. I want to go and speak to the girl. The Lesbos. Well, there's Aurelia. Well, wait there. Where's the Shrine of fucking... Because I need to get the Shrine of Apollo anyway for this. There's a key I've got. 
Is this the sh Hmm. A golden bowl. Julia. Just like Apollo and Diana. Wait there. She, she's not even on the map. Oh, shiny. I want to know what's in here. Oh, nor from Dooley. Or Tess isn't. I did not do it. Let's speak to this guy. Hello? Hello, my friend. What's your story? My name's Dooley. I live here now because I got in trouble and they... They said they had to lock me up. What do you do? I don't know. I don't remember things so good. I think it's just because I was... Looking for treasure. Did somebody think you were going to steal? Yes. But I wasn't. I was just looking. Is that it? They said I did it. More than once. But I can't remember things so good. Then they called me mean names. Yeah, I don't trust you either. They called... They called me a liar, Billy. Liability? Yes. They said I have to live here now and gave me this letter but I'm not good with words do you you think you could read it for me come on then show me the goods magistrate sent yes explains Dooley was locked up to prevent him from trespassing okay what does it say yeah they caught you trespassing several times and locked you up to stop you breaking the golden rule uh my treasure. Where is it? My friend Hannibal used to look after me. He said he always would. But then, he died. It was very sad. He said, if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious hidden away. He gave me this key and made me promise to keep it safe until I found the treasure. Give it to me. But I couldn't find it. All I remember is he said something about the cisterns. But when I went up to the high one, they put me in here. Ah. Now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius. And Ek. Ek. The priestess lady. She's a nice lady. You give me the key and try to find out what it unlocks. Hannibal s d said I sh shouldn't give it to anyone I didn't trust. But maybe you could help me get out of here. Then I, I would trust you a lot. Bullshit. Okay, let me talk about the ma talk to the magistrate about it. Galerius already tried that. He said the magistrate wouldn't listen. Yeah, no but what. I got you, homie. Then maybe it's time we had a new magistrate. Like Galerius. He's nice. I like Galerius. Aha. He made me a doll and everything. If you help make him magistrate, he can get me out of here and I can give you the key to my treasure. Hannibal said it was in the cisterns. I can't remember what it was, just that it was way up high and very precious. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I will do that later. Bye -bye. I want to quickly go and speak to the wench in the um, tavern. I think I'm on a new cycle. Wait, I need to save it. I think I'm on a new cycle because 
when I called her a beautiful lady, she didn't like it, so let's just play, let's be a bit coy. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. Livia. Livia, would you stop me? Ah, oh, that's Livia. For a cauldron. You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades. This is who I need to speak to. previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Just as the ocean accepts the river, yes, 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 it yes. does not. Right. What's your story? The bloodless shadows sum the house of... I've no idea what that means. They never do. Are we there out here? Is only a... Do you need help? Help me. It is better for you. The Golden blood. rule. Blah blah blah. Right. The new. Okay, so she's she's worthless. But where's the? There's a. Sh I thought she was supposed to be at the shrine. Aha! Unless it's. Right, wait. The shrine's probably somewhere else. Let's get Vote her out of the way. For a free oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. Yes, and, right. I hope I'm not being too forward. There's something yes, 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 we've heard this before. She fancies me, right. Top option's wrong, I've already said it. Oh, stop it. No, please go on. What was that? Some kind of joke? If it was, it wasn't funny. Yes. I take back this. Blah, blah, blah. Um, do you have any wine? I do, but I'm afraid it's not for sale. It's the last jug in the entire city, so I'm saving it for a... A uh, romantic occasion. Right. Everything's for sale. Name your price. Everything except this. Sorry, sweetheart. How about we take the wine and head up to the bath, just you and me? Really? <laughs> That's your move. Let's get fucking more. Honey, I'll admit I was intrigued by you. Unfortunately, oh, shit. For right. We've got to charm her, so. We'll see about What's that. that supposed to be? Right, now All we'll right. go and speak to that girl, because I think that's what we had to do. We had to do that first Ixian and speak to her. Turn just as the... Uh, hmm. The newly arrived... Right. Oh, look, it's given me the... It's given me the path to the shrine, which is what we need. Come on, baby. Julia. Sorry, I'm just I'm not very good at people's names. Everyone just sounds the same to me in this game. Julia, Ilya. It's not good enough. They need to have more distinctive names. What? So this is the shrine. So where's the fucking chest? There's supposed to be a chest in here that I got a key for. Aha! That's it. Navia's treatment note. The treatment for rheumatism is willow bark. Good. I'll take that. Now we'll speak to her. You were once her lover, oh, yes? It was the. Um, right. Do you know anything about Centilia's disappearance? No. I did hear from Ulpius that she disappeared. It's very sad. She was such a lovely young woman. But I'd been locked in Maliolus's villa for months before she went missing, so I can't help you, I'm afraid. Fair enough. I'm trying to grift Aurelia. Can you help me? Really? <laughs> You're going to give that snake a taste of her own medicine? I'm in. Good. What do you need? Everything. I need the last of her wine, which she says she's saving for a, a romantic occasion. Well, so you need to sweep her off her feet, then? Is that it? Excellent. I think I can help you with that. What does she as like? Much as I think I've lost it me to say this. We were sort of involved before she betrayed me. So I know her better than anyone. The thing you need to know about her is this. She's obsessed with money. 
An ostentatious display of wealth probably wouldn't hurt. One more thing, and I feel dirty saying this. She keeps a journal upstairs in her room, beside her bed. If you could somehow take a look, that might tell you how she thinks. Lovely jabbly. I'll see if it works. May Nemesis guide you. Alright. Nice, we're gonna grift this girl. But I tell you what I wanna do is, because I'm absolutely bursting for the toilet, we're gonna save it here. Next episode we'll start with them um, seducing her and a um, steal her wine while we're hanging out the back of her. That sounds like a bloody plan. See you in the next one, lads.